Now, as we go along with this 180 degrees, that's zero degrees. Okay? Now, 90 degrees is I'm trying to get around beside them. That's the 90 degree part. So, zero degrees, they're firing all their stuff at you. And now I need to come along beside them. So I'm listening to them, but I need to, to memorize, actually, and I would really recommend you do memorize, some quick catch phrases that allow you to diffuse emotion. Because if you can diffuse the emotion, then you can start to get to maybe some of the real issues that are happening and, and what is it that we can actually really deal with. So diffusing the emotion, uh, would be statements like, again, oh, I, I, I understand how you feel. Now, if it's completely fake, you know, you're going to be in trouble. But at the other side of the equation, uh, it's better actually that you memorize this and this stuff just spews out of your mouth right away. And then you'll start to, to see how it works and it'll give you some breathing space. Because sometimes, in, again, in the heat of them coming at you, I don't remember what to say, so you might blurt out things that get you into more trouble. Uh, but if you, can if you can get some of these statements, and like say for example, the, the one, um, it must be frustrating for you, I, I don't know how many times I've, I've used that one, that's my, like, my automatic fallback position. Uh, and if I'm not thinking straight, and I actually am really peeved that this person is, is, is coming at me with this stupid thing that they're doing, but if I can go, boy, that, that must really be frustrating to you. and, and the diffusion is, just watch what happens when you say statements like that, because they go from, ah, and they go, well, yeah. And you'll see them just go, huh, yeah. Somebody understands me. Yeah, somebody me. understands me, exactly. Somebody understands me. And so, again, I understand how you feel. I appreciate your perspective on this. I can see how upsetting this is for you. It must be frustrating for you. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it really is. And it really helps you, again, like I said, to get away from this you against them thing. Uh, and now you're starting to come along beside. Now, if they continue to be loud and abusive, uh, you, you can't keep it going that way. So again, the little statement I have here is, you know, I really want to help you on this, but if, if you're this upset, we can't have this conversation. This is not going to work. Right? Now, sometimes that might make them a little matter. <laughs> but what you've done is you've just set a boundary that it's not, it's not going to continue. Uh, we're, we're, not going to, we're not going to continue like this. It's just not going to happen. So, and I'm totally willing to talk to you, but just not in this setting. So, you'll have to um, so my, my customer service story from that it was, it was there was, a, there was an airlines and uh, one lady was in charge of all the baggage. I mean, you're probably really happy if you're in charge of baggage because you know what happens with baggage in airlines all the time, right? Okay. So this person had lost their bags and was just livid. And he went at the first customer service rep and he was just going. And so finally, the, the uh, supervisor came down and she was really good at, at, at customer service and things. So uh, he was just going off at her and going off at her and, and she was trying to calm it down, but he would just have none of that and he's just, like, just all emotion and how crappy you guys are. And she just basically said, sir, there's only two people in this world right now that care about your luggage and one of them is losing interest really fast. And then all of a sudden he's like, Oh, go. Oh. <laughs> okay. I get it. Like in other words, look, you know, I want to help you, but this what we're this conversation we're right now with your emotion, nothing that you want can get done. And it's what you, you want to get it done, but it's not gonna get done. So that's coming around beside and you also to make sure you start to paraphrase, right? So now you're all really mad, and I'm going, oh, that must have been really frustrating for you. Now, what I hear you say is, you know, that, that coach on the court beside you was making way too much noise, and it was just totally distracting you. Is that really what you're, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Right? And so the idea is then you're alongside, because now, like Kai said, someone understands me. Someone's listened to me. I get it now. And that diffuses a lot of the emotion. 